if one little clip helped you decide your faith on who the fuck I am and what I have done, then I don't need you on my channel. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers. Walking out the tin and blue Balenciagas. I call her out now, I got blood on blue Balenciagas. Okay, okay, okay. What it do, Bear Squad? Today, we're gonna be talking about something new. We are going to be talking about the whole Pretty Boy Fredo versus DDG thing. Uh, I wasn't going to cover this. I actually saw this uh, a while ago, but I didn't think I was going to escalate to this point. But apparently, we got Pretty Boy Fredo getting death threats and stuff like that. So, it, it's gotten pretty heated uh, between, the, I guess, the subscribers. You know, people take things real far. But uh, it's gotten to the point where Pretty Boy Fredo is talking about deleting his whole channel in general. And uh, I was watching Pretty Boy Fredo since before he hit 1 mil. And now he's at 4 mil. And I'm not going to lie. I fell off for a bit. Mostly because after he stopped playing 2K for real, for real, I was like, eh, you know, and not making 2K videos and mixtapes and all that stuff. Like, I, don't, I was like, eh, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, this whole live basketball or playing basketball with other YouTubers thing, I think that's dope. Like, I just think that that's really cool. So, on that note, but it would not be the first time where there's been, you know, fouls and stuff that hadn't been called right. And just to run you guys down on what exactly happened in that game. Um, basically, it was, like I said, Pretty Boy Fredo versus DDG. In that game, uh, DDG had already proclaimed earlier that he was going to try hard, you know. And I guess that since Pretty Boy Fredo didn't, didn't, uh, see him like banging like that originally he wasn't trying to have any of that you know and uh, you know DDG was going was talking about how you know he was gonna start trying harder in most games and taking smart shots and stuff like that and he chose that you know he, he, he chose this game to really do that in well in this game there were a lot of fouls you know and and then pretty boy Fredo wasn't calling those plays the way he should have or wasn't and wasn't calling the points the way he should have and because of that you know ddg got heated like anybody else would he got heated he was upset and he said you know you know what fuck this if I, i'm gonna if it's not my ball i'm leaving well pretty boy fredo i i don't know i don't know what was up but he was like you know what then leave bro like because it's not his ball and to my knowledge, like, I'm not taking sides on this. I'm really not because I couldn't really get a good angle to see on that last play really wh whose ball it was. But prior to the other earlier parts of the game, yeah, I mean, I I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be completely 100 with you. Like, Pretty Boy Fredo was fouling that dude a lot. Now, does it really matter if it's, like, not official basketball? In my opinion, not really. There's some that you can kind of, like, wang with. There's some that you can't. But in my opinion, I don't really think that fouls should have that much of a, like, real standpoint. But, I mean, I guess if you're playing for money or anything of that sort, then, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe if you're just playing to get the dub, but you, because you're both, like, high-tier YouTubers, it makes sense. I don't know. But after that, some words were exchanged uh, on both ends. Talking about, and at that one point, we really thought they were going to scrap. And... They didn't, but, you know, uh, he goes on later to talk to him and says, you know, if I'm a bitch, then, you know, you would show me I was a bitch and stuff like that. And DDG talking all this shit, yada, 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 whoop, de whoop. And through all that, you know, this is the outcome. You know, his subscribers have taken to, you know, finishing up with the Twitter fingers or with the internet beef, you know, talking about, like, murdering his daughter and stuff like that. And I swear I'm like, man, this thing, it goes way too far, bro, because they ain't nobody that's got any type of kid is going to be okay with that happening, whether they've got YouTube or not. So now we have the potential that, the, that his original channel could be let go and, uh, you know, we won't see as much content getting produced by him. And that... That, that in itself is very, very, um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it because I, 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 
it, it's at this point where it's like he's kind of one of the YouTubers I just have been watching. So it's kind of weird to see that the fact that that might happen over a basketball game. I don't really think this beef is as as is as big as they want to make it seem. And this could just be a publicity stunt just to make sure both their channels can blow up a little bit more. Who knows? Because you never know what people do for a little bit more clout or a little bit more fame. But what do you guys think? In the comment section below, make sure you guys tell me whether you guys think. Is this real? Is this fake? Is this a big deal? Is it not a big deal? How do you guys feel about it? And I'll see you guys uh, next time. Also, wait, real quick before I go. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. And... If you guys haven't joined the Bear Squad, make sure you guys click that sub button. And now I'm out of here. And I'll see you guys next time. We gon' pull up with those sticks and hop out with them chops. Walking out the tin and blue with Lesiago.